As Rhode Island works its way through phase one of its vaccine plan, the latest CDC data shows less than half of all available doses have been given to patients nationwide. But many state officials say that isn't their fault. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter spoke with Rhode Island's Department of Health about the problems it's facing with vaccine distribution. She also asked what the state is planning to do to contain that highly contagious COVID variant. I spoke to Dr. Philip Chan with the Department of Health today, and he tells me the federal government is not supplying the state with as much vaccine as they need, but they are doing the best they can. Dr. Philip Chan, a consultant medical director at the Department of Health, says when it comes to vaccine distribution, he's going to be blunt. So we don't have enough vaccine. I mean, what we're doing here in Rhode Island is that we're really limited um, by the federal government and the manufacturing process. I'd love to vaccinate everyone. Uh, and gets everyone at once. That is our goal for sure, but we are just limited. But he says there has never been or will be a pause in the near future and says the state is still working its way through phase one, currently vaccinating health care providers, pharmacists, and lab workers that are doing COVID testing. No plans to pause. Again, we're not sitting on any vaccine. We receive approximately 14,000 doses a week. Uh, we, te we push those uh, right out over a week. Dr. Chan says when it comes to vaccinations, he knows people want theirs as soon as possible, but says it's a process. And we're finding things out from week to week, even from day to day at times. Uh, so we're being flexible. We've uh, administered 57,866 doses. When asked about the highly contagious variant, he says although it's not in the state yet, they are looking for it. We have not seen any variants yet in Rhode Island. We are conducting some surveillance, but uh, my guess is we may eventually see it here in the state. There are some initial reports uh, out of Pfizer uh, that the vaccine, at least the Pfizer vaccine, is expected to work against the variants that we've heard about in this. So I'm going to be optimistic and say that, yes, uh, at this time, there's actually some evidence uh, that it still induces those antibodies needed to protect someone. Now, as of today, Rhode Island has fully vaccinated 1% of its population. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News. We continue to get questions from you about when you'll get your COVID-19 vaccine. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter spoke to the Department of Health and joins us now with an update on the first phase of vaccine distribution in Rhode Island and any potential problems. Courtney. I spoke with Dr. Philip Chan with the Department of Health today, asking him about statewide distribution and the state's plan for seniors. Dr. Philip Chan, a consultant medical director at the Department of Health, says when it comes to widespread distribution, they are pushing out the vaccine as quickly as they can. We've uh, administered 57,866 doses. That includes almost 47,000 first doses and 11,000 second doses. But says when it comes to the CDC nationwide recommendation that states speed deliver COVID vaccines to people older than 65 and others at high risk, he says the supply just isn't there. So we don't have enough vaccine. I mean, what we're doing here in Rhode Island is that we're really limited um, by the federal government and the manufacturing process. And we'd love to vaccinate everyone uh, and get to everyone at once. That is our goal for sure. But we are just limited by the supply of the vaccine coming into the state. And because of that, that age group will have to be broken down into groups. When you look at Rhode Island, there's about 190,000 people in Rhode Island who are age 65 years of age. We obviously want to get to this group as soon as possible. What we've had to do is actually break it down to subsets. So we're actually starting um, with individuals who are 75 years of age and older first. And there's roughly 79,000 people in Rhode Island uh, who are older than 75. So we're getting there. And says although Massachusetts just opened up a mass vaccination site at Gillette Stadium to help distribution, Rhode Island is not there yet. Yeah, so we're still considering and discussing vaccination sites. One thing that we thought that made sense for Rhode Island is instead of having one massive site, is to spread it around the site so that it's easier, more accessible to people and people can more easily commute to it. Now, as of today, Rhode Island has fully vaccinated 1% of its population. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.